So I have a really terrible, sad, common topic to cover. So if y'all have seen my um, videos on recovering from narcissistic abuse, the truth is, is there's no like recovery. There's no true recovery because these people are psychopaths and once we get on their radar, then we're on it for life and the only way to protect ourselves from it is um like completely disappearing from the face of the earth where they can't find you period only so if you go no contact um I kept calling it gray rocking. Gray rocking is what you do when you have to continue to have them in your life. No contact is when you go no contact. You don't look at them, you don't see them, you don't talk to them, you nothing them. They are dead to you. And um, both of these strategies will make them extremely angry and out for revenge. They want to force you to have contact with them because they're psychopaths that can't take no for an answer. And if they cannot force you to do it, um, They cannot force you to do it. They'll use whatever means they have to get revenge and to force you. So with my ex-husband, he tried to court order me to talk to him. You have to talk to me due to matters of the children. You have to talk to me. And I told my lawyer, no, I am not talking to him. There's no point in us talking about matters of the children we do not agree i will never agree to his authoritarian bully uh abusive parenting period end of story i will not agree to it and i'm sorry that the law is so broken and so confused that they cannot see that manipulating a child to hate their mother for one example is abuse I'm sorry that the law cannot see that manipulating and bullying a child into not doing things that that child wants to do, whether it be whatever, it doesn't matter, you know, uh, Facebook posting, uh, YouTube videos, uh, fishing, hunting, being gay. Wearing whatever color this child chooses to wear, wearing whatever style the child chooses to to wear, etc. Like the believing what the child wants to believe, and and having the free will to choose the content of their own thought. Uh, going out and doing whatever the child deems enjoyable um, dancing singing hiking being in nature whatever the the the, the list is endless um, of whatever the narcissist decides they don't like whomever is in their group you know be it their wife be it their um, child whatever be it just anyone it doesn't actually matter if you're in their group if you are doing anything that this psychopath lunatic does not like or agree with they'll talk shit about you behind your back in front of your face whatever and of course they're usually do it in the guise of i'm so nice and this person's just so confused doing this wrong stupid thing 
depending on the narcissist, right? Because some are covert, some are over, some are like, fuck, that person's stupid, and they're like way obvious straight up about it. Um, the ones that are really good at it act like they're being so nice about bullying you out of doing whatever you want to do, like love your mother, enjoy the company of her, whatever, right? So you either kill your soul and cave and be with this person, for example, stop um, no contact with them, or you stand your ground and your children are tortured and taken from you, etc. Even if they can't physically get the law to say, this person is unfit and not allowed to have any contact with the children, they will steal you from your children's hearts by bullying you, them out of loving you. And, um, you know, the love bombing. Oh, I'm buying you all these things. Your mother's never gonna buy you these things. Look at how much I love you. I do it because I love you. Bye, kiss ass, whatever the fuck it is they're going to do for a minute. And then as soon as they think they have you tricked into staying and not leaving them, then they take it away and become the jerk bully. And back and forth and back and forth, like the never ending back and motherfucking forth. That. Love bomb, take away. Love, take away. Take away the love, give the love. Take away the love, give the love. And this is how they will manipulate your children into, um, away from you. Right? Uh, if they can't get the law to do it. So, me personally, I have decided that go right the fuck ahead, motherfucker. My kids know who I am. They know that I give them a, an amazing, better life. It's not a competition, but it is a matter of fact of reality. He's an authoritarian bully, and I'm a freedom fighter, and I fight for the freedoms of not only myself, but of that of my children. And they are allowed to be who they are fully and completely, period. But they're going to have to fight and stand up for themselves. They're going to have to do the thing that I didn't do for so long, but that I am now doing. And I have to continue to do because I have to be the example of that which they deserve to be. They deserve to be who they are, like what they want to like, love who they want to love, and they deserve to be strong and get away from abuser bullies, okay? Someone that loves you doesn't love you one moment and abuse you the next, okay? So someone that's loving you and abusing you, that's a person that's an abusive person all the time, period love doesn't love you one moment and abuse you the next okay so if love's loving you one moment and then abusing you the next moment that is an all-around abuse abuser period okay so i decided i'm gonna just lay back and let life experience teach my children because my children I love them and I don't blame them. It's not their fault. They're being tricked by a clever manipulator to help a clever manipulator and lie about their mom. They said the most hurt, like completely absurd things that are like beyond the opposite of what's actually true. And it's so sad because he tricked them into doing for him what they were saying they shouldn't do for me, which I was setting up a situation where they could have a wonderful free life, where they could pursue their interests. I helped them, and of course they helped me a little bit too, right? You live in my house for free, but you have to help me run the business of my house that I'm setting up in my house when I'm not here. 
and you benefit from it in whatever way you can benefit so for example if you can get some extra money out of it all I want is the money that's coming directly from the set business that I'm setting but if there's additional money to be made that's all yours to keep you get to be home you get to be free you get to be with your children and you get to um, you get to uh, broken system that approves of breaking children okay so a child psychologist approved of this tyrant bully liar kidnapper manipulator to have my children why because he is a program robot into the system and I am not and I will not pretend to be I was very clear and honest and open with this idiot psychologist trained program to drug addict children is what in fact his training is for. That guy is a fucking moron. Didn't matter which one I hired, this particular one, like it was a freaking, it was Russian roulette. I was gambling because, um, this fellow had done his job now for 22 years, so I thought he either is doing it for 22 years because he's really passionate about the children, and he's going to um, have the experience to pick out and point out people like my ex and not fall for their game, or he's totally brainwashed into the system, is a follower sheep of it, and my ex is going to totally manipulate him. So, I'm not entirely sure if the guy was tricked by my ex or not. Maybe he saw that I needed help and that my ex is messed up is and it's not going to be perfect. But me not being healthy was not going to be great for my kids also, right? So, he wanted to help me out get my breaks possibly. Or he totally got tricked by my ex and just gave a psychopath like power over my kids like uh, another option that I thought of which I uh, personally uh, appreciate is karma's a bitch bitch you think it's easy taking care of my kids having them constantly trying to burn down your house go for it pussy I mean he's not even taking care of my kids he has my older children taking care of my kids and his poor girlfriend that doesn't even have any idea she's being fucking used. So, teach his own life experience, teach his own life path. My children fought to be with this man. My younger kids are innocent victims, but my older children only are in part, right? Because they did fight to be with him and lied for him. Have fun with them, children. Because guess what? I divorced him for a fucking reason. And now my children know that, actually. And of course, they go back and forth with the love bombing. Oh, dad loves me now. Yay. Oh, now he's beating me. No, now he loves me. Woo. Oh, shit. Now he just fucking said the thing that made me feel really bad. Now he loves me again. Woo everything's fine it sucks because it's a fucked up game that they don't even realize or fully aware of what's going on and that back and forth I could totally relate I don't judge it but I figured you know what I protected them for way way too long from this psychopath and from a very vast large number of psychopaths which are ruling our planet right now okay we have five-year-olds in adult bodies in the government, in the medical
medical system and all the various systems and it shows very clearly shows so I don't fucking care you know because in the end my kids are going to choose freedom to be who the fuck they want to be my kids are going to choose joy because every freaking human being does and if they don't then have fun with your misery kids like I gave birth to you I brought you here I gave you the option of freedom to choose right by giving you perspective to look at you see me I don't give a fuck I do what is best for me and what brings me most joy period I don't care what fucking bullies do to me they can fuck themselves in the actual ass I don't care but it's not easy and it's harder for some than others right like I was burned the fuck out I had eight kids so by the time like shit really hit the fan I was just like yeah I want to protect my kids from this fucking psycho but at the same time I'm exhausted so I decided I'm going to trust this psychologist drug dealing drug de- ch- child drug dealer okay period end of story that's what he fucking is to decide of course what he decided was just like holy fuck you're an idiot but beggars can't be choosers I was fucking exhausted I need my breaks so um can't get my my nanny in Mexico to help me well I guess psychopath dad's gotta be the one and whatever damage he does to my children is on the plate of the psychologist that's on his karmic plate so have fun with that dude period period it's the law this is the law of this freaking planet what you do to another comes back to you 10 times or more period i fought my ass off to as much as i could financially emotionally and energetically like i i couldn't do it anymore and i stuck to it to the end but i did um Approximately eight months before-ish, the psychologist finished the evaluation and everything, not all due to his fault, due to like, I couldn't pay, I wasn't there, and then, I, I just, I, I, I um, drew it out as long as I could, because I was hoping that in that amount of time would be the amount of time my children need to see reality and tell the truth, but my ex was played his game very well held out longer than he's ever held out before pretty impressive dude you're up in your game you're a better manipulator liar than you were before congratulations you still have to pay with that for with karma dumbass so he fucked my kids over he tricked them into fucking themselves over and the psychologist helped him and I didn't um, take it to court. I didn't. I was like, no, nah, this is it. People need to live the consequences of their decisions. Okay. So you want to fight me for my kids, puto motherfucker? Do it. Have fun with that shit. Cause I take care of them by myself for like freaking ever, and it was hard. So enjoy. You know, fucking enjoy that shit, dude. So I was okay with that. I was okay with losing, quote unquote, losing my kids. I can't lose my kids. They're my fucking kids. Nothing in the entire universe is going to stop that fact. And they will come and find me when they get tired of his shit. Which is easily a thing because he's horrible to be around period so I'm not worried I don't fucking care I'm not worried however I have a darling friend
friend that has much younger children than I and her psychopath fucking mother lied about her and got another family member to collaborate with her in lying and they got the pile of shit government system to think that my friend was crazy and etc so on and so forth and took her fucking kids away and they'd rather put them in a system of getting uh, molested and abused and not loved like this mama is gonna love her babies like this is how stupid your government is this coronavirus government <coughs> that y'all are believing in like blind piles of shit sheep like you deserve to get the fucking coronavirus and die a slow painful death if you're that fucking stupid these people are ruining these babies because they're fucking corrupt they're the ones that are mentally fucking ill right so my friend you know she busted her ass and kissed their asses and did whatever they wanted and needed her to do and the case was about to be closed and then guess what oh whoa look how weird someone called and reported you on another abuse bs thing and guess who didn't even come to investigate to find out if it was true your fucking government piles of shit child protection are you fucking serious you idiots aren't protecting anything. You're helping abusers abuse is what you're actually doing. So this psychotic lady um, couldn't handle that her daughter didn't want anything to do with her anymore because she's fucking actually the crazy one. So what does she do? She gets the system to fucking torture her daughter through her children. So, my friend's an idiot. She's been around the block a few fucking times. And she knew that they're not investigating. They're just believing it. And that's it. She's going to lose her kids over made-up lies. Over not true shit. And she's never going to see her kids again. So, she didn't have a choice. She did her best attempt to flee with her children. And these psychopaths in this lunatic covert narcissistic psychotic system run by crazy people your government found her and took her fucking kids so I don't know what the fuck is gonna happen to my poor darling friend because this is the kind of shit that would make you go crazy they are child kidnappers that took children away from the most amazing mama. Period. No one's gonna love these children like she was gonna love them. She was going to love them and grow them into empowered free beings. Of course they don't want that. Why would they want free beings that question everything and tell them, the government, to fuck off? Of course they don't want that. They're gonna fucking uh, put their own selves out of business. They're gonna mur like take them own their own selves out by allowing children to be raised free. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna happen. No. So I don't know. I don't know. My friend is strong and she's amazing, and I just hope she can freaking keep her shit together in this because her children will grow into adults and they're gonna come and find her and then they're gonna need to see a complete healthy woman standing before her because they're probably gonna be really broken and need her to be their hard place their rock and then they're gonna become the strong beings that she is because she went through enormous abuse herself so they can go through abuse too and come out of it fully intact like she has. Like we learn 
from these horribly abusive situations we grow from them into the amazing beings that we are also right we don't just break so i just my heart's broken for my friend and her beautiful children and i wish that i could just scoop them up and rescue them but i can't i can't i don't have more to be able to give and do at this moment for them and fuck you uh child protective services and fuck you to the piles of shit that work there and allow this to go on you're the ones doing the evil for these psychopaths and you get convinced with all this blah 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 that it's the right thing and it's bullshit so when you're spreading these um posts about oh so such and such parent kidnapped their own fucking child that's probably a parent that's actually trying to rescue their child from being abused and um, taken from your psychopath government. Ding dong. And you're helping them by spreading this bullshit and by calling them when you see these people, when you should be taking these people into your home and fucking helping them protect and save their children from these psychopaths in the fucking government united states and other governments they are kidnappers and child thieves and what the fuck am i gonna do they helped a psychopath get my children the guy told me, I'm not going to just believe shit your kids tell me just because your kids tell me. And that's exactly what he fucking did. Matthew Davies. Is that his damn name? Dr. Matthew Davies is a fucking moron that put my children in the hands of a psychopath. So, you know, to keep my sanity, I just... I, I trust that my children have their own guidance system and they're going to get themselves out of the nightmare that this pile of shit child drug dealer put them into. Of course he wants them broken. How is he going to get them to come be his fucking clients and uh, feed his fucking bank? I mean, the guy's so brain damaged that he actually told me that some sandwich thing at McDonald's was delicious. Like, do you even have taste buds, you fucking idiot? Everything at McDonald's is literally disgusting. No flavor. Even if it was fine nutritionally, which it's not. The fucking shit has no flavor. How can you be a psychologist? Like, the guy makes bank and be that fucking stupid. Because what you are trained in is to be a stupid sheep, fucking robot, drug dealer to children. The worst of the worst are the child doctors of all varieties. Okay? So, have fun with your karma on that, pussies. But, what are you going to do? I'm the dumbass that made a baby with a fucking psychopath. A whole bunch of babies. I'm the dumbass that trusted the psychopath with my two first babies, whom weren't even his. Can we stop doing that? Can we stop giving enough? Can we start to giving enough of a shit about our beautiful lives and our precious babies to just blindly bring in these fucking idiots that we don't even know? I mean, my last fiance, I knew him for two years when I finally revealed that he was a psychopath too. Like the guy's fucking nuts. And um, I had to go all the way to making him my fiance to get the crazy Looney Tunes to come out where I could see it clear as day. So I said, sayonara, bitch. No, 
I'm not doing that again in my life. I'm not doing that again in my babies. Because what I already did is what I already did. But I certainly ain't doing it more. I ain't doing it again. That's the power that we have is to not do it in the first place. You young people. Fucking give a shit. I want you to be in a relationship. I need love. That's programmed into you don't need any of that i don't have that and guess what mm -mm -mm, check this shit out i'm doing fine i'm having a great life i don't want that shit in my life if it's going to not be an addition i'll do it of course a partner in crime a partner in joy boom but otherwise i'm fucking motherfucking fine my shit's doing great you don't need a relationship okay and I know I'm a female, so it seems like I'm talking to other females. I'm talking to males and females. Like, all of us are susceptible to these psychopaths. And it's not a gender thing. There's females that are crazy as motherfucking shit. And stop helping the government fuck over people. Complete fucking ridiculous. Like, please get coronavirus and die. If you're those people that are helping the government or calling the government, please. That's my biggest wish that you get coronavirus or whatever the fuck. Get hit by a bus. I don't care. Just die. Like, you are the fucking problem of why we can't get rid of these crazy lunatics and why I haven't done my hair today. Isn't that weird? I always do it. <laughs> always look so pretty <laughs> what a look. okay gotta go i'm here to fill up my water get my nice spring water because i ain't drinking that stupid fluoride make you more of a brain damaged idiot moron crap okay okay there's so much there's so much love y'all bye Mwah.